Let g be the function defined by g of x, y, z is equal to 3x squared plus y plus z for all real x, y, and z. Which of the following is the best approximation of the directional derivative of g at the point 0, 0, pi? in the direction of the vector i plus 2j plus 3k. Okay, um, so I think the way I'm gonna approach this is just write out the, you know, compute the actual directional derivative of g at this point, substitute what the, the point is, and then just numerically figure out what uh, the closest closest thing is. Okay, so we have g x, y, z is equal to 3x squared plus y, oh, 3x squared times y plus z. So the directional derivative in a particular direction uh, is given by the gradient of g. And we take a dot product with the vector v. Um, so first, let's compute the gradient of g. We have the partial in the x direction is equal to 6xy. The partial in the y direction is equal to 3x squared. And the partial in the z direction is equal to 1. Um, so we want to take 6xy, 3x squared, and 1, and take a dot product with our vector v, which in this case is equal to 6xy times 1 plus 6x squared plus 3. And we want to evaluate this at xyz is equal to 0, 0, pi. which is just three. So, I mean, the answer E, 2.6, is the one that's closest to this. But um, that's quite a bit farther off than I expected it to be. Uh, for this type of examination question, you know, I wouldn't, think 2.6 is like you can you can probably give an option in this question which is closer to the correct answer than 2.6 i did this correctly right did i take the gradient correctly 6xy 3x squared derivative of this vector z is 1 take a dot product with this vector i plus 2j plus 3k so one multiplied by two multiplied by three. Yeah, that's what I get. Um, I mean, I hope I didn't make any silly algebra or arithmetic mistakes, but uh, the, the, the actual gradient or the actual directional derivative is three. And of the options listed, 2.6 is the closest one to three. So that's my answer. Uh, if, I, if I find a mistake in this, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.